I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. And when Adam and Eve submitted unto Satan, they are the ones that empowered Satan. In a sense, man made Satan. God created Lucifer, but man made Satan. Psalms you know, I used this example last week that in a sense, Satan used mankind like a hostage and said, God, if you get me, you know you're going to have to destroy them also. They willingly submitted unto me. But now God himself became one of the hostages. And now God had the authority to deal with Satan. And I mean, Jesus destroyed, defeated Satan on every level. Satan made the huge mistake of crucifying Jesus and took him to hell. And when Jesus went down into the lower parts of the earth, I mean, he came out of hell. He destroyed Satan, not only here in this physical earth, but he went down into the lowest parts of the earth. He defeated Satan, and he came out with the keys of death and of hell dangling on his side. He begged Jesus to let them enter into a pig. Why? Because a pig has more authority than the devil because it has a physical body. A slug, a worm, amen, fungus has more power than the, or, or let me rephrase that, more authority than the devil because it has a physical uh, form. It's really very appropriate to call Jesus the Word because God spoke him into existence through dozens or possibly a hundred different people over a 4,000 year period of time. The Holy Spirit took these words and impregnated Mary. With the amount of error and the number of untruths in his teaching, Andrew Womack has the audacity to have a program on Christian television uh, called The Gospel Truth. Now, Andrew Womack is on local television in 35 states in the Union. He's on every Christian network, God TV, Inspiration Network, Daystar, Church Channel. He's on Sky Angel. He's on every continent in the world on television and on radio. His reach into the homes of people is incredible. And most people criticize uh, false teachers. You know, the favorites uh, are T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Joel Osteen, uh, Kenneth Copeland, whatnot. But Andrew Womack is under the radar. He's under the radar of most people. And if you watch him, you'll see that he's very folksy, very genteel. He's got that southern drawl. He's on TV, very plain spoken. He's got his blue button-down collar shirt. Uh, looking very preppy, just preppy, and he just looks so convincing. But I consider Andrew Womack, or Womack, the most dangerous man on Christian television. And the reason is because of the reach that he has, and the reach he has with what he teaches. Now, I turned on television a couple of days ago, I was watching Andrew Womack, and um, within two minutes, I noted at least 20 factual errors that he stated before I just stopped taking note. He provides no scriptural reference for what he states, and the scriptural references that he does provide, they are very often out of context. But for the most part, he just riffs, he just says stuff. In the short clips that I play for you, he, he, he says that man made Satan. He says that pigs, fungus, snails have more authority than the devil because they, they have a physical body. He, uh, he said that Satan <laughs> uh, crucified Jesus, but that Satan took Jesus to hell. Now, that's just for starters. That's just the, the stuff I'm showing you all. And by the way, there's a link to his website where you can see these sermons for yourself in, it, in their entirety uh, in the more info section to the right of the video. Now, there are studies that show that Christian media uh, is 
the single greatest m manner in which uh, persons are introduced to Christianity through Christian media, not through church, but through Christian media, television, radio, internet. So one of the criticisms against me is, why do you focus so much on TV preachers? Well, because of the stranglehold that they have on on the media, on Christian media, and because of their ability to influence uh, the Christian population. Their ability to influence thinking. So then, the correct transmission of the doctrines of the faith is something that is of great importance. Now, it's one thing to be wrong and to be wacky, but it's another thing to be heretical. And heretical is what Andrew Womack is in his teachings. When you teach something that is in direct opposition to the basic doctrines of the faith, meaning the nature of God, uh, the nature and deity of Christ, the virgin birth, uh, etc., then you are in a dangerous position, uh, particularly as a preacher or a teacher. And the Bible admonishes us to warn that person, and then after a, a sufficient number of warnings that that person is to be avoided because that person is condemned. I'd like you to listen to these clips of Womack, and then I'm going to come back and comment. He spoke everything into existence. And when he had absolute authority and power, he hadn't delegated it yet to his creation, he just spoke Adam and Eve into existence, and they came into being. But after he had created them, he turned the control the authority to rule and to dominate this earth over to physical human beings. And now that mankind had yielded themselves to the devil, how was he going to create the second Adam, as it mentions over in 1 Corinthians chapter 15? One that didn't have sin flowing through his blood. It had to be a virgin birth. He needed the physical body, but he needed to be sinless. And so there needed to be another creation, similar to the way that Adam was created. But God no longer was in absolute control, so he couldn't just speak him into existence. What he had to do was flow through people and get people to speak the things that needed to be said so that Jesus could come into this earth. Now this is major. This term son of man always refers to the humanity, the physical side of Jesus. The term son of God refers to the divinity side of Jesus. So he's saying here, the reason I have authority to execute judgment is because of this physical body. So this answers that question. Why did Jesus have to become a man? Couldn't God have done things other way? No, because God is a spirit. God had to become a man to come down here into this domain and have power and authority. So in these clips now, now this is just in one broadcast. Womack has denied the nature of God by saying that God lost control of the earth, has the ability to lose control of the earth, and that, uh, and further that he requires the participation of man in order to to bring Christ into existence he's in, in effect saying that God is not God that God is is not does not have the ability if God does not have the ability to be in control at all, all at all times and he's not God he also said that Christ was spoken into existence so then he denies the pre-existence of Christ he also denies the deity of Christ because one of the basic doctrines of the Christian faith is that Christ is God that he has always existed so he cannot be spoken into existence ladies and gentlemen this is what people are being taught all over the world and it's a shame not only that this man has a Bible college where he's teaching people this ladies and gentlemen Andrew Womack is the most dangerous man on Christian television he should be avoided. His teaching should be avoided. And if your pastor teaches this, then you might want to you might need to make a make a decision about uh, staying there. 
God has always been in control. God was ne has never taken himself out of the loop. Christ has always existed. Christ was not spoken into existence. Christ did not go to hell to fight with Satan. He wasn't beaten up by Satan. He said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Watch out for Andrew Womack. Take care and God bless.